from the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Okay, hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ropecast, the podcast for English learners. Today it's the VidCast, and that's for a special reason. I am here with Saul Rubin. Hi, Saul. Hello. Uh, renowned a guitar player, guitar teacher, and I've heard yesterday also a good piano player from New York. And I wanted to do a, an episode um, on music mm. and um, actually do a little bit of vocabulary for students because I'm a language teacher, I told you this. Right. And I thought, yeah, well, a lot of them play guitar. And I thought we might talk about your guitar, which I find very beautiful. And oh. uh, maybe you could explain a little bit what makes it special to you, what parts are on there that you find especially appealing. Well, it's an electric guitar. It has pickups uh -huh. and knobs controlling the sound, volume, tone. Uh -huh. But it's, it's, it's hollow. Okay. And it's got a wood bridge and it's hollow. The wood so bridge. The wood, that's, yeah. the, that's the thing that holds this, yeah, the This is the bridge, uh -huh. and the wood bridge gives it a very warm, wooden, woody sound. Where a metal bridge is a little harsher. The arch top and the wood give it a very warm sound compared to a solid body guitar, which would be like a Les Paul or a okay. Fender or something like that. Why do you call it an arch top? Because the top is curved. Uh huh. Okay. And it's, it's this is. Actually, a plywood guitar, but some of them are carved like a violin, and uh, it's very plywood similar. Plywood is the, that's where you put several yeah, pieces yeah. of wood together. together. Uh -huh. the, so this this guitar is not a, a purely acoustic guitar; it's in between an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar. Okay. okay. And it has sound without without the amplifier. Okay. Where a lot of electric guitars, you don't hear them without the amplifier. Right, like mine. I've got a Fender Stratocaster, right, right. and that, that is on the body. Uh, right. Um, one thing I've always been wondering, what do you call the things at the top you tune with? Oh, these are called tuning pegs. Tuning pegs. They're pegs, like the peg, and you turn them, uh -huh. and when it tightens the string, the pitch of the string goes higher. Okay. When you loosen it, it goes lower. <laughs> Okay. Turn it the other way, it's higher. Right. But, but the pegs are the thing at the top, not what you're turning here, right? Well, the whole thing is all a tuning peg. They, ah, you know, okay. The mechanism is a, it's called a tuning peg. Or they call them tuners, or they call them... I forget there's another name that they put uh -huh. In English, it's tuning pegs. Ah, okay, okay. How long have you had this guitar? I've had this guitar around three weeks before July. So, oh, so it's, June, it's, it's, it's new to me. It's really new. This is my traveling guitar. When in America, I have other guitars that are probably more valuable, but I don't fly with them. Ah, oh, okay, okay, good. It's it's still it's beautiful. It's one. very nice. I'm happy with it. Yeah. Uh huh. One also one difference I noticed that from 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 other guitars that maybe are, are uh, well acoustic guitar players have is the way that the strings are attached. It's kind right. of this is called a tail piece. A tail piece. Like a tail, like a tail of a rabbit, or just uh -huh. a tail. Okay. And this holds a string. Some other guitars, the strings are connected to a piece that uh, it's called a tail piece too, but it's embedded in the wood. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is a little bit different. This bridge is also not screwed into. It's not screwed in. It's movable. It's movable. It can move. Why would you move a bridge? Um, because uh, it's because the sound goes right from the strings to the bridge into the body. That's why. Ah, okay. Some of the other guitars, electric guitars, have a fixed bridge mm -hmm. with a metal, and it's a very different sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a warmer, more jazz-oriented uh -huh. sound. Cool, cool. I ought to get one of those, but first I need to play better. <laughs> <laughs> one step at a time. Okay, you're right you are. Uh, I think we have to stop here because we usually have a five minute limit on our little podcast. But what, I would like to ask you a few other things on jazz terms. Sure. Would you be willing to do just one little next episode? Sure. Okay, so we'll be back in two weeks with the next episode on special jazz terms. Bye for now. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. 
Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.